With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, so our question is 30 gram of ice at 0 degree Celsius is mixed with 25 gram of steam at 100 degree Celsius. Find the final temperature and composition. Okay. So we have been given 30 gram of ice at 0 degree Celsius which is mixed with the steam at 100 degree Celsius having amount of 25 grams. We have to find the final temperature and the composition of the resulting mixture. So what will happen is when the steam at 100 degree Celsius is mixed with the ice at 0 degree Celsius, the steam will lose heat and the ice will gain heat resulting in the melting down of the ice. So first of all to find the composition or the temperature of the mixture first of all calculate the heat that will be required by the ice to getting melt and the heat that is provided by the steam. Okay so first of all we are calculating the heat required to melt the ice at 0 degree Celsius. So the heat required to melt ice at 0 degree Celsius will be say as Q1 that will be mass of the ice into latent heat. Now the mass of ice is 30 grams into latent heat is 80 grams sorry 80 calorie per gram 80 calorie per gram so from here we will get it as 2400 calorie okay now find the heat required to raise the temperature of water at 0 degree celsius to 100 degree celsius so this will be equals to q2 that will be given as the amount of the ice which is getting melt m1 into specific heat of water into change in the temperature so the mass is 30 grams multiplied by specific heat is 1 calorie per gram per degree Celsius and change in the temperature is 100 degree Celsius. So from here Q2 will come out as 3000 calorie. Okay. So we have find the heat required to melt the ice and to raise the temperature of water from 0 degree to 100 degree Celsius. Okay. Now find the heat of sorry the maximum heat the ice can absorb from the steam to reach 100 degree Celsius. Okay, so this is the maximum amount of heat that ice can absorb from the steam to reach from 0 degree Celsius to 100 degree Celsius. Okay, so this will be equals to M into L that is the mass of the steam into the latent heat. Now mass of the steam was 25 grams into latent heat is 540 calorie per gram per degree sorry per gram. Okay, so from here we will get our heat maximum heat so q3 will be equals to 13500 calories so this much of the maximum amount of the heat ice can absorb okay so as we can see that the total steam cannot be condensed as the ice can take the maximum of 5400 calorie that is 2400 calorie plus 3000 calorie out of this much of amount that is 13500 calorie sorry 13500 calorie okay so the resulting mixture will contain some steam okay so since the steam was there in the mixture so what we can say that the resulting temperature of the mixture will be 100 degree celsius okay therefore the resulting temperature resulting temperature of mixture will be 100 degree celsius okay now if we want to calculate the amount of steam condensed so it will be the heat that will be absorbed by the ice divided by the latent heat so steam condensed steam condensed will be equals to amount of heat absorbed that is 5400 calorie divided by the latent heat that is 540 calorie per gram so from here it will be 10 grams okay so this much of the amount of the steam will be getting condensed so the steam present in the mixture will be steam in mixture will be equals to the total steam that is 25 grams minus the steam which is getting condensed is 10 grams therefore it will be 15 grams and the water present in the mixture water in mixture that will be the ice which is getting melt that is 30 grams plus the amount of steam which is getting condensed is 10 grams so we get 40 grams so this is the composition in which the mixture is containing 
15 gram of steam and 40 gram of water. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.